<laughs> We're wanting to set up a ministry that is owned by Aboriginal people where they can exercise their gifts in ministry. Right, Diego? Hi folks, it's St Matt's. It's Neville Naden here from Broken Hill. We've been here in Broken Hill now for the past uh, six years, working away and to be faithful to what God has called us to do. We've had youth ministries up and running, our children's ministry, we run a kids' church. In terms of women's ministry, the possibilities are there and we're hoping that uh, that might, uh, with, with the help of the, some of the ladies from St Matt's, we might be able to get something off the ground um, here in due course. As we, we've been in the process of setting up the work out here, we've always did that with a hope that one day a church would run uh, independently of us. Uh, we've always seen our role as, some, as a role whereby we do ourselves out of a job uh, and then move on and do something else. So uh, that still requires a lot of work uh, at this stage uh, and we're trusting that as we partner with you guys that you might help us uh, to achieve that. Um, is it achievable? I don't know, but uh, we certainly are asking the Lord that, uh, to provide that for us. One of the issues that we have is a lot of our people have a low self-esteem. Um, we're trying to um, build their confidence that they would see that they can be a, an important part of church growth and development. Many of our people, they, they haven't had a lot to do with church apart from funerals and weddings and that sort of stuff. Uh, but in terms of ministry, they, they never saw that um, they could be involved in ministry. Um, but now we're, we're hoping that uh, we might not only engage their help in ministry, but also train them up and, and support them as they exercise uh, their gifts in ministry here in the Hill. We've been involved in children's ministry ever since we started. We believe that if we're going to curve some of the antisocial behaviour of the Aboriginal community here in Broken Hill, then it begins with the children. The Lord put it right when he says it's difficult to put new wine into old wineskins. And so whereas we struggle to provide a ministry to the adults in, in Broken Hill, we've certainly got the hears of, the, of their children. And so we are looking to impact their lives with the gospel in order that they might, uh, down the track, um, not forget what they've learnt in regards to uh, Jesus and the relationship that they could have with him and so we've been endeavouring to do that. See you when you come out. <laughs>